What if alien life isn't green? What if it shows up as pink and yellow clouds floating high in an exoplanet's atmosphere? A new study says, yes, that's actually possible. Astrobiologists usually ignore clouds when searching for life. They block surface signals. They distort atmospheric readings. Basically, they're annoying. But researchers at the Carl Sagan Institute have flipped the script. Clouds might be one of the best places to search for life. Here's the surprising part. Earth already has microbes living 21, 29 kilometers up in the stratosphere. Tiny organisms like Modestobacter, Roseomonas, and Micrococcus survive extreme UV radiation by producing bright pigments, carotenoids, that literally color them pink, orange, or yellow. And those pigments create very strong spectral signatures. So the team grew these microbes in the lab, measured their wet and dry pigmentation, and fed the data into a planetary simulation called ExoPrime 2. Then they modeled Earth-like exoplanets, snowball worlds, ocean worlds, and filled their clouds with these microbes. Result? Planets with cloud-dwelling microbes showed distinct, detectable spectral lines. Even from a telescope like JWST or NASA's upcoming Habitable Worlds Observatory, Dry microbes reflected more light. Wet microbes created sharper lines, but both were unmistakable. There's a catch. To be detectable, microbes would need to colonize at least 50% of the cloud layer. Earth doesn't come anywhere close to that. But the physics says it's possible, and somewhere out there, a planet might have clouds absolutely filled with colorful microbes. For the first time, we now have a database of spectral fingerprints to search for alien life hiding in the clouds. If one day we detect a distant world with pink or yellow atmospheric signatures, Carl Sagan would be called it a beautiful beginning. 